Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Bichai and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to see how we can delete SharePoint online site using PowerShell. So we will see how we can uh, use these commands, SharePoint online management shell commands, connect hyphen SPO service, remove hyphen SPO site and then restore hyphen SPO deleted site and then finally we'll see remove hyphen SPO deleted site. So these are the things that we are going to discuss on this particular uh, video. In my last video, I have explained how we can connect with SharePoint online sites from SharePoint online management cell. I will put the link in the video description. Have a look at that if you are new to SharePoint online management cell. Now before that, if you are interested for SharePoint training, I have SharePoint training courses where you can, I'll put the link uh, where you can learn SharePoint in details. I have training courses for the entire bundle. I have for development training, SharePoint framework, SharePoint site owner, in text for Office 365, Power Platform training. You can have a look at the courses. I'll put the link in the video description. I have a SharePoint site, you can see here. Uh, this is a modern site, but it is not Office 365 group enabled. Means there is no Office 365 group associated with this. So whatever the commands we will see, it will work for SharePoint online modern site without Office 365 group and SharePoint online classic sites as well. Now I will open my uh, SharePoint online, uh, sorry, I'll open my SharePoint online management shell or you can also use Windows PowerShell IAC. I prefer to use Windows PowerShell IAC. So I'll run as administrator. And uh, first thing is we will use the connect hyphen SPO uh, service command. Uh, so I will put here connect hyphen SPO service and then it will ask for a URL. So in this case, you need to provide the SharePoint admin url so i will just copy this link and then i will put here hyphen admin and next thing is you can provide another parameter which is known as credential and i'll put my username here tsinfo dot on microsoft dot com now then we will use the remove hyphen spo site command which will move the site to the recycle bin that means it will not completely delete the site collection rather it will just move the site collection to your recycle bin from where we can actually restore so i will remove hyphen spo site spo site and uh, then i will put the parameter here identity and then i'll put the site url so in this case this is my site url so i'll just put this and then i'll put another parameter which is saying confirm and then we will make it to false so that it will not ask us to confirm to delete it now if i will run this command now you can see here i will now put the pass basically you need to be a uh, SharePoint online global administrator as well as a site collection administrator. So then only you can run this command. So if I will now open this site, you can see here the site is not there. And if you go to this, this is the site that which we are trying to delete. If I'll go to the deleted site, you can see here this is the site that we that is uh, we deleted. Now we can also use, uh, I mean, we can re we can uh, restore it uh, to our uh, uh, to to this particular uh, uh, this site. We can restore uh, from the recycle bin if you want to. Then in that case, we can use uh, the uh, restore command. So instead of remove, I will say restore hyphen and then I will say spo deleted site so if you'll see here sp deleted site and identity and then we don't need this and uh, now if you'll see here if you'll run it um, you can see here and it will the site will be restored you can see here now it is restored if i will now try to open it 
surely it will open you can see here and uh, uh, if i will uh, i'll go to active sites you can see here the site is there if you'll go to deleted site that site is not there itself so this will be uh, restored from the recycle bin if you want to permanently delete it then we can also use the command which will permanently delete uh, after removing this and uh, so in that case it will delete completely from the SharePoint uh, uh, tenant so you will not be able to restore that so you can see here I have the connect uh, state uh, connect command then uh, remove hyphen SPO site but if you want to remove this from the recycle bin we can use remove hyphen uh, SPO deleted site so in this case it is SPO deleted site and uh, the, it will take identity as a parameter and then the site URL so I'll just copy it and I'll put it here so in this case uh, we will also put uh, the confirm parameter so you can see here now in this case what it will do is it will first remove it for, and it will move it to the recycle bin and then later it will remove remove it from the recycle bin as well let's run this so I will run this and uh, now you will see here it will execute both the commands and if I will refresh this site you can see here for not found and if you'll go to deleted site it is not there if I'll go to active sites it is also not there you can see here it is not there in 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 both the places so this is how we can delete the site permanently from the recycle bin as well as if you want to just move it to the recycle bin we can use the remove hyphen spo site command also i hope this small tutorial will be a little helpful to you uh, to execute this sharepoint online management cell commands if you like uh, our video kindly subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of videos on sharepoint office 365 Azure and all these Microsoft technologies. This is our Twitter handles to follow us, our website, visit us, and then LinkedIn and Facebook pages to like us. Thank you and have a nice day.